The DJI Osmo Mobile has a little carry case, very sexy carry case. It holds all the parts. The stabilizer, it holds the power cord, and it holds the base station. There's also a battery that comes with it. It's in the bottom of the stabilizer. You press this button and the door pops open. You can pull the battery out with a little ribbon there. Slides easily back in. And make sure once you when you want to close the door, you have to, if you don't push the button again, slide it down. It won't lock it in place, so lock it into place. On the side of the stabilizer is a quarter inch hole that allows you to attach your gimbal to a tripod, to the top of the tripod. And there's also a charging port on the front, or I'm sorry, on the rear of the gimbal. It's a 3.5 millimeter hole that allows you to plug in the charging cord. This is not for a microphone, it's not for earphones. This is strictly to charge it. So don't put a microphone in there, don't put earphones in there. It's a USB charger that you can plug into a USB port on your computer or into an outlet. Now the base station is awesome. You can just slide the gimbal in here. Make sure you press the button, lock it down. This gives you a solid platform to put it on a tabletop or on the ground. The gimbal speaks to your phone through Bluetooth, so go into settings and turn on Bluetooth. And then you'll have to download the DJI Go application. Once you've got all that downloaded, click on the DJI application and sync the two devices. You have to sync the phone with the gimbal. Let's press connect. Turn the screw on the back of the holder for the gimbal to make it wide enough to slide your smartphone or your iPhone in there. And then you simply slide your iPhone in to that slot once it's wide enough. Slide it in with the screen facing you and the home button to the right. There's a whole process to balance the phone and the gimbal by uh, sliding the arm on the back, but I'm not going to get into that here. It's kind of a time consuming process. On the front side of the gimbal is a little sliding switch that will turn the power on to the gimbal. Slide it down once and you'll see the green light come on and the phone will stabilize itself and come into an upright, uh, upright position. The button on the very front, the large button, moves the gimbal up, down, left and right. So this up moves it down, down moves it up. Push it to the left and it goes right, push it to the right and it goes left. I'm not certain if my settings are correct. It seems to be non-intuitive, so, but that's the way it worked for me. One of the features of this device I love is the active track where the phone will actually follow you and I this is one reason I got it if you put a draw a square around your face that phone will now follow you move left right up down it'll follow if you move too fast it'll lose track of you and the phone and the gimbal does not go around 360 degrees so it stops at about 300 degrees and stops rotating but this is so cool the way it follows you around isn't that awesome? I just the way it's just like a little robot following me. The Osmo gimbal gets off center and you want to reset it. There's a trigger on the back of the gimbal and you hit it twice and it'll recenter itself. Boom, boom. Isn't that cool? Just automatically sets it back. So if you get lost or you think it's kind of out of whack, you just hit that button twice in the back, the trigger in the back, it'll reset itself. To switch from front facing camera to rear facing camera, just hit the trigger three times. It'll switch it around. If you want to attach your Osmo Mobile to a tripod, there's a tripod uh, quarter inch threaded hole. Let's attach your tripod pod mount to it, screw it in, and then clip it to the top of your tripod. And voila, you got your gimbal on the top of the tripod. It's a pretty, pretty awesome setup there. You can also attach it to your tripod using the base station. The base station is plastic, and there's a pre-drilled hole in the bottom of the base station, which I couldn't tell if it's threaded. I believe it's threaded, but it's plastic, so I don't know how often you can screw um, your tripod mount to it without stripping the threads. But it, it, it threads in pretty easy, and it's the same principle. You, you screw it in there like that, and then you clip at the top of your tripod, and then you've got the uh, base station uh, where you can slip the Osmo Mobile into it. But the Osmo Mobile is real wobbly in the base station. It's going to jiggle a little bit more so than if you had it securely 
screw to the top of the tripod. I hope this video helped you out. If you like this video and you want to see more, please hit subscribe and I'll have videos posted Monday, Wednesday, and Friday by 3 p.m. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and thanks for watching PT Pop.